Oh, God, what now? I'm afraid we have a warrant to search your house. Haven't seen you in a while. I didn't go. Absolutely tickety boo. <laughs> what did you do with the car? Don't worry. No one will ever be able to connect you or whatever you did in it to that car. Should I be there? I'm selling a few new lines if you're interested. I'm all right, mate. I don't want you doing anything that's going to take any effort. I'll be here. You can just spend the rest of the... You all right? Uh, Leah, come in. Come sit down. Um, look, I'm so sorry to do this to you, uh, but the police have their reasons for being here. What's going on? Yeah, they uh, have a search warrant for our home. Right. They're looking for a phone, one which was used to contact Romeo when he was evading capture last week. A phone? Yeah, a so-called burner phone, which I've previously only heard about on TV. I know this isn't ideal timing, but we're under instruction to turn this place upside down and we have to do it today. Yeah, that's fine. I heard you at the police station yesterday. No. Sorry, it's just so much has happened since then. Um, yeah, I was at the police station to report the illegal raid that was going on, but then other stuff took over. Of course. The story about the phone isn't true, is it? They're here because they think I had something to do with Ella dying. What? No. No, Dad, I didn't. I said horrible things to her, but I didn't mean for any of this to happen, I promise. None of this is your fault. None of it. Hey, why don't you go and get a hot bath? They can't bother you in there, can they? It's a complete waste of time and resources. Can I get anyone a copper? Yeah, thanks. Well, we've got nothing to hide, so nothing to worry about. And they've arrested Felix for dangerous driving, so she can't really want to be here. Felix? Hmm, terrible. Anyway, I hope you haven't damaged my car. <clears throat> Can I have the keys? I assume it was you who took it. I took the cleaning van to cover it, Leah. Sorry? I haven't drove your car. But you must have done. Dear Sanderson, someone has stolen my car. Has anyone heard from Charlie? Why don't we just stick together? It was a stupid, drunken mess of a day. I can't believe she's gone. Music just feels heavy right now. Is there something we can all do? They say grief is the price we pay for love. We need to place our love somewhere. We need to celebrate Ella. So I spoke to the office about your car, but I don't think they're going to rush to do anything about it today. Not with, you know. So are you seriously going to continue with this raid? Leah has just lost her best friend. I I'm missing 50 grand's worth of car. Uh, not to mention the fact that my son is in jail. Look, I'm sorry, James. Just be careful with that. Found any burner phones in there, mate? No, no didn't think you this would. This one's T2. Yeah. I might just leave use to it. I need to donate some stuff to a charity shop anyway. Sorry, Steve. We're just gonna have to check that back before you leave. Make sure you're not trying to sneak a burner phone out or anything. That's all good, boss. Thanks, Steve. It's just protocol. Leah, 
My dad thinks I'm in bed, but I couldn't... I tried, and I couldn't stop thinking, so... These are for you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Come in. I really didn't... I didn't mean to do this. I didn't... Are you okay? Shall, shall I make us a brew? Um... What... What made you bring me flowers? I was just thinking about... how you must feel. I, I know you didn't know Ella for very long, but... she was... She was still your granddaughter. <laughs> I mean, she was always going on about how cool you were, so... I... I don't feel like I have a right to grieve her, you know? She, she was my granddaughter for so little time. And yet, somehow, we did have a bond. Like we'd known each other for a very long time. Maybe you're just grieving the relationship you could have had. I mean, that's pretty sad, right? How did you get to be so smart? <laughs> <laughs> Time. Yeah, well, perhaps you could expedite the investigation into my stolen car by way of apology. Oh, Steve. Getting away with our life of crime. No burner phone found, obviously. Perhaps you should conduct your investigations a little closer to home next time. You're out. Uh, they do me for dangerous driving. I mean, they think I'm responsible for two deaths, one being Ella Richardson. 